If you're looking for a fast and easy way to make selections or cut out images in Photoshop, then look no further than the rectangular and the elliptical marquee tools. Now with these two tools, you can either make rectangular or circular selections really easily to either fill with colors, cut out images, or just use to apply onto a layer mask. Now if you're new to these tools, in this video you're going to learn everything you need to know about the marquee tools, but even for those who are already familiar with this tool, make sure to stick around because there's going to be a lot of amazing little tidbits that that will help you to use this tool even better. So let's start things off by how to use this tool in the most basic sense. In this image here, I have a square frame that I want to fill with a photo. Now you could use any of the selection tools in Photoshop, but this is the perfect opportunity for the rectangular marquee tool. To access the rectangular marquee tool, let's just select it right here in the top of your toolbar. Once that is selected, we'll make sure that the new selection option is selected and then our feather is set to zero pixels. We'll talk about that more later on. Now we want to go and create a selection area to basically define where we want to put our image inside of. And so that means we want to basically select everything inside of these black frames. So I'm gonna click here and drag out like so. Now in some cases, you might have a problem where let's say you've accidentally selected a part of your frame that you don't want. From the starting point that you created, you can't really move your rectangular selection very easily. But luckily, if you hold the space bar, you can then move this entire selection at once. So this makes life really easy to align things to specific edges. So just holding the space bar, you can move that entire selection at once. Now, if you want to make a perfect square, all you have to do is hold the shift key. Holding that shift key, now look how that is locked into a perfect square. Letting go of the shift key, I can now make it into rectangles and things that are not evenly proportioned. But if you hold the shift key, it then goes back to a square. So depending on the shapes that you're looking for, the space bar and the shift key are two really helpful things that you should know about when you're using this tool. Okay, so now I have an active selection inside of my picture frame represented by these marching ants. Now let's go and fill this selection with an image. So I have another photo already open here. I'm going to grab my move tool by pressing V and click and drag this over into my other image and drop it in. Now this photo is pretty big, but don't worry, we'll rescale it afterwards. For now, we just want to basically make it so it's only visible in this rectangular marquee selection. The easiest way to do that is using a layer mask, so then we're working non-destructively. With that image layer selected, I'll click the layer mask icon, and now that will apply that marquee selection onto our image. So now our image is only visible in this white area. So now we need to go and resize this photo to fit inside of the frame. All we have to do is unlink the layer by clicking that chain link icon, making sure our photo is selected. And then I'll just zoom out, grab my move tool by pressing V. And then we can just rescale this into position now, since we can move it independently from the mask that we just created. Pressing the check mark. Now we have quickly fit our image into the frame using the rectangular marquee tool. Now this is a really simple example of how you can use the rectangular marquee tool in an actual situation while you're photo editing. But now let's go through and talk about some really helpful shortcuts and techniques to improve your use of this tool. Going over to this other image, we're just gonna go and talk about a bunch of different selections and things you can do with this tool. So once again, selecting the rectangular marquee tool, let's first talk about feather. If for example, I have a feather of zero pixels and I go and create a selection of a general spot in my photo, I can take an exact copy of this selection and put it onto a new layer. All I have to do is press Command or Control J with that selection active. And now as you can see, it's on its own layer. Now we've taken a copy of that, put it on its own layer. So now we can move that about as we wish with the move tool. Now, as you can see with the edges of this currently, it's super sharp, meaning there is no feather to it. So now let's go back to our marquee tool and this time we'll set the feather to something really high, like 50 pixels. Now let's go and create a similar selection area like this, then select our image layer, press Command or Control J once again. And now this time, look at the edges of this selection. Notice how they're kind of blurred versus our initial one was very sharp. So this is what the feather option will do for you. If you wanna have a blurred out edge around your marquee selection, changing the feather setting is going to do that for you. The same thing applies for the elliptical marquee tool. If you just click and hold, select the elliptical marquee tool, once again, you have a feather option. So this will give you the exact same result as you see here. The only difference is you're creating a 
selection in a circle rather than a square or a rectangle. Now, when you create a selection, just like this, for example, you can see I had this elliptical selection. You can't really do much with this after you've created it. You can click and drag it around, but what if you've created a selection that you just don't want anymore? In that case, all you have to do is press Command or Control D to deselect that, and that will get rid of your marquee selections. This also works for any type of selection in Photoshop. Now, what if, for example, you wanted to get creative with these two tools and use both of them together? So for example, I'll click and drag out to create a new rectangular marquee. I'll hold the Shift key so it's a perfect square. Now, what if I wanted to go and add to this and perhaps add a elliptical marquee selection to it? Well, going to my elliptical marquee tool here, now what I can do is hold the shift key and notice how I now have that little plus icon beside my cursor. Now I can go and click and drag out like so, holding the space bar to move the whole thing at once. And now look what happens when I let go. The selection merges together, so now we've used the rectangular and the elliptical marquee tool together to create a really unique shape that you probably wouldn't be able to create unless you were using something like the pen tool, but this is just so much easier. So this can be used in a bunch of different ways. For example, you could continue to add more circles holding the shift key and just dragging out like so. Still holding that shift key, you can just add into your selection or you could go to your rectangular marquee tool and continue to add more rectangular selections around your area just by holding the shift key to add to it. Now, what if you wanted to go and remove from an active selection? Well, then in that case, all you have to do is hold the alter option key and now you notice a little minus icon beside my cursor. This time, doing the same thing as before, it's going to subtract from the area that we just selected over. So. Alter option to remove, shift to add on to a selection. It's really that easy. Alternatively, you can click between these options right up here. This setting here will add to your selection. Well, this setting here will subtract from your selection. So rather than doing the keyboard shortcuts, you can press these buttons up here instead. Now, once you have a selection active, what if you wanted to go and fill it with a color, for example? Well, in that case, all you'd have to do is let's just create a new layer. So we're editing non-destructively. All we'd have to do then is just pick a color. Let's choose, say, red, for example. Click OK. Now all we have to do is hold Alt or Option and Delete to fill that selection with our foreground color, which in this case is red. Now you could go and change this color to whatever you would like. As long as it's set to your foreground color, hold Alt or Option and Delete, it will fill that selection with a specific color. And then once you're finished, just press Command or Control D to deselect. And now you have this really unique shape that would be difficult to create in any other way. So this is just a niche example of how you can use the marquee tools for really versatile purposes here in Photoshop. You don't need to necessarily cut out an image or add it to a layer mask. You can also use it to add shapes or colors or things like that. Now I'm just gonna delete these layers and we'll start fresh here. So just like we did with the image in the frame, we can use these selections to refine where our adjustments are actually visible. So for example, let's say I want to add a brightening adjustment just around myself here in this photo. If I go and select my elliptical marquee tool, I'll set the feather to something really high so it has a blended edge. Let's say for example, 70 pixels, I'll press enter. And then now I'm gonna go and create a selection around my body here. So holding the space bar to move the whole selection at once, this is the area that I want to brighten up. So that looks good to me there. Let go and now I have an active selection. Now let's go and use this with an adjustment layer. So clicking on the curves adjustment layer here, notice how that selection automatically gets applied onto this layer mask. So now when I go and do these adjustments, it only shows up in that one area. So this is basically serving the same purpose as say the radial filter in Lightroom or in Camera Raw, but this time you're just using a marquee selection instead. You can also use a gradient in this case, but I just wanted to show you that this example is out there for these tools. So although the marquee tools are pretty easy to use as they only create rectangles, squares, or circles, there are a few different 
different ways that you can use them in the program to get a little bit more out of them as well as use them for spot adjustments or to refine your images into a specific area in your photo. For example, like my image into the frame. The marquee tool can be used in conjunction with other active selections as long as you're holding the shift or alter option key depending if you want to add or subtract from the selection. Now if you're looking for more ways to cut out images and create selections in Photoshop, I share three of the best ways to do so in a video that I'll share up in the corner right now. In that video, you'll learn all of the easiest ways to remove backgrounds, cut out images, and create selections so easily you won't even believe it. So if you want to find that video, there's a link in the description below as well. Anyways, if you learned something today and you love Photoshop, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so we can hang out more often, talk about photo editing, and learn a few things together. My name is Brandon from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then. Thank you.